Write this verse down, please. Matthew 13, 33. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman put in a large amount of flour until it works its way all the way through. You simply could say the kingdom of heaven is a culture that has influence. It's taking over everything. Look at this one. The word influence is important here. The kingdom of God was sent to earth to regain earth back for God and to influence the earth. And therefore, the divine purpose of God was to extend his culture from heaven to earth. That is the plan of God. Genesis chapter 1 is about what we call colonization. Colonization is when a kingdom extends its influence to a foreign territory. God created the earth to bring his influence to earth. That's why he put you here. Therefore, kingdoms expand their culture through this process called colonization. And the evidence of colonization is culture. If you come to the Bahamas, you'll notice you drive on the left-hand side of the street. Why? Because our kingdom from England drove on the left. You'll notice in the Bahamas, those of you Bahamians, we drink tea four times a day all my life. Why? Because the queen drank tea four times a day. The king drank So when they drank, we drank. You all understand what I'm talking about, yeah. When you are in a kingdom, you do exactly what the kingdom is doing, even though the kingdom is far away. You'll get it after I'm gone. In other words, we didn't need to go to England to be English. The culture took over our lives. So we speak British English, you know, jolly well, little chap fella. That's the way we speak in our country. That's, we were taught to speak that way, you know. <laughs> Why? Because when you are under a kingdom in a colony, you take on the language. Speaking in tongues is not a religious experience. That's right. That's right. Speaking in tongues is you regaining your old language again. That's all. <laughs> that's why when you speak in tongues, you don't need to interpret for God. You interpret for earth. Amen. So a kingdom impacts a territory with culture. And that is called colonization. I want you to write this down. Very important. Matthew 12 says, Jesus is speaking now. He cast a demon out of a little boy. That little boy was set free from a spirit of the devil. And here's what Jesus explains happened. He said, if I cast this demon out, by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has arrived on earth. I told you that miracles are not supposed to be extraordinary. They are simply evidence that the country of God is in your neighborhood. The culture of heaven has arrived. Jesus never called anything he did a miracle. He called it work. This is the works of my father. And when the people ask for miracles, he said, you are full of the devil. <laughs> Only a wicked and an adulterous generation want to be entertained by miracles. These are not for entertainment. These are evidence of the presence of a culture. And that's why, while I'm speaking tonight, you're going to get healed while I'm speaking in a few minutes. God's going to heal you because I'm here and the kingdom is being preached. And he got to prove that it's present by removing your high blood pressure, your diabetic problem, the growths in your breast, and your prostate cancer is going to be healed. If you believe that, it's going to happen tonight. I'm not playing games tonight. I know how this thing works. He said, the kingdom has arrived. 